Romans 1.17, For in it the gospel, in the gospel, the righteousness of God is revealed from faith for faith, as it is written, the righteous shall live by faith. Salvation is by grace alone, through faith alone. This is the, the means of our salvation. Faith is the, the means by which God's grace comes to us. Just as the means to talk are, are having a mouth and a tongue and vocal cords, the means God gives us is faith. The gift. The gift of faith. What is faith? Today, you know, popular usage of the word, it seems to kind of be this really vague notion. Like faith is this sort of just blind leap into the dark that you, you know, you hear it anytime you hear the phrase, oh, you just got to have faith. Nobody's not quite sure what it is, but just make the jump, you know? In the Bible, faith is something far different than a blind leap into the dark. For sure, there's a, a step to take. There's movement, but it's movement to step upon sure ground, solid footing. If you take the word faith and you look at all the different times it comes up in, in the Bible, you see that it's used in, in three different ways. Faith, there's an intellectual aspect to it. That there's an intellectual assent to certain truths that you can reason with and understand and you come to hold with conviction, hold firm. There's an intellectual aspect. Then there's an experiential or, or emotional aspect where you, you, you feel things. They become a living reality to you. You have an experience of relationship with God. There is an experiential element. And then lastly, faith is there's a, a volitional element. That's a, an act of the, the will where you you, you take your own action. You become the things that you become convinced of in your head and in, experientially in your heart that then they, they move you and, and they, they cause you to live differently that the change in the way that you live your life because of what you've come to have faith in and who you've come to have faith in. Martin Luther said that justification, said this justification by faith alone is the doctrine upon which the church stands or falls. Justification by faith, our correct understanding of it, is what's going to enable our church to either stand or fall, to continue or to fall apart and have its doors closed. You know that uh, statistics still translate that 80% of churches that are ever started, uh, they, they die within the first five years, and that there are more churches that are closing their doors uh, and shutting down than there are churches that are being planted in our country. The church is on massive decline. So it says it comes down to justification by faith alone. Hmm. Justification. It's a big word. It simply means being made just or right with God. We could say righteousification, but that's not a word. So we say justification. It comes through exercising faith. And faith is a gift of God. Ephesians 2.8 says it so clearly. By grace you have been saved. Through faith, the means, and this is not your own doing, it is the gift of God, not the result of works that no one may boast. In the faith that we have, the gift of God. We cannot save ourselves. God's grace must come in and give us faith, not works. I could never do enough good work. Salvation is by grace alone, through faith alone. Faith and faith alone. 